years, she has moved from an ordinary girl in St. Catherine to one of the most copied, followed and sought after dancers in the global dancehall space as she posits her rebelliousness on dancehall tracks like these. Her parents named her Christina Nelson, but she's best known as the Dancing Rebel right now right here on our stage. Hi, Dancing Mr. Rebel. Williams. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Yes. All right. So to sum up your 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 rise and uh, and achievements so far for us. Okay. So I was living in the country mm -hmm. in Old Arbor and I started working from an early age but my heart was always to be a dancer. So I came to Kingston not knowing where I would have to stay, who am I going to stay with, and what is going to be my next step. I was in Dancing Dynamites, and Jenny Jenny sent me to a video shoot one day. That's where I met uh, some friends. I met Triple X. And he told me about an audition at Brownstone Marketing and Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, that company covers flow, now called Lime, whatever. Yeah. Um, I started working with them from age 17, where I became a promo dancer. And from there on, I was back and forth from Old Arbor to Kingston. And it became so rough. Um, it worked out that we started getting enough money, so I rented a small place, and that's where it all started. Um, and you're at 17? At 17. Okay. I went to the Uptown Mondays one night. The song Siva was playing. Remember, nobody knew this country girl. And Boom Boom said, who is that slim girl? Go on the balcony. So that's where I get the highlight, and I was posted all over Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I've been in various amount of dance groups. I've been through it. I'm still in Outshine Girls, but now I'm proud to say I'm also a part of the Team Spice. Team Spice? Yes. Isn't that what catapulted you to international fame? Yes. Uh, it helped me. I also, I used to market myself. That's where I get my first European tour. Then when I joined Team Spice, the market get, gets better because I became more professional. I started seeing things differently. I started to know my worth and stuff like that. And thanks to Spice, I've been all over the Caribbean. I'm going to England next week, Friday. And from England, I'm going to Spain to teach classes and stuff like that. All right, let's take a, a quick, we put together a little, a little reel of some of your dance moves. Okay. So let's take it right here. Everything shot. Tomorrow I'm calling sick. I just might quit. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Right now, I'm just lit. Me done pass me limit. But you know what's up, me now stop sick. If it's winning, I'm willing. This night's so thrilling, I'm feeling too legit. The man I say me smell good between the shades. Me now no older, now no stinking underneath. You broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your, broke off your, broke off your back. If you broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your, broke off your, broke off your back. Tell know you got the glue, know you got the glue, know you got the glue. Okay, so that's a little taste of her, her moves. But um, how much that work is really your own yes. creation? Yes, it is. Well, some of it, most of it, I get classes because of steps that I have created. Mm. So I get to earn from it. Creating steps is important to me because if I don't create, I can't eat. Okay. 
I want to kind of go back to your roots yeah. in Old Harbor. And when you yeah. took the decision to come to Kingston at 17, and uh, what, was, what was it about dance? What were you doing about it at that point? Uh, it sounds like you were saying that you couldn't resist the, the urge to dance. Yeah, I couldn't resist it. I got through for the University of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. I got through for UTEC. I didn't want to go. <clears throat> My parents didn't believe in dancing. Dancing is not a career. I got through for those university and I didn't even once mention it because I wanted to go to the Edna Manley and they didn't want to send me because dancing was not a career if you're not a doctor, if you're not a teacher, a nurse. So you went against your parents' yes, wishes? Yes, I did. <laughs> and where's the relationship now? No, they realize that dancers are diamonds and we are important and you can earn so from you that got, thing. So you got accepted in yes. UWI? Yes. And UTEC? Yes. Quietly. You kept it to yourself. You didn't tell your parents? No, I didn't. Because you want to pursue a career in dance. Yes. And you thought um, school of dance was better. Was better. Yes. To go. Yes. Dance at Edna Manley is academic mm -hmm. and also uh, yeah. dancing, yeah. Uh, actual dancing. So, so, so couldn't you make the case to, to them? No matter what I said, no matter what I did, it was no form of importance. They did not care. OK. But now my mother understands why I wanted to do it. Yes, but yes, so that's what I want to get to. Yeah. Why did you want to do it so much because that you would, you would go against your parents to get it, to do it? I loved it. I was born to dance, and it makes Were me... you always dancing at home? Yeah, and you... she knew that. She knew that? Yes. And you danced in the community? Not, not Old yet. Harbor? Yes, in Old Harbor. On, on little concerts and yes. stuff? Yes. Uh, what was it, what it called? Band wagons and Christmas boxing days, stuff like that. It makes no sense. You're going to university to do hospitality and tourism management, mm -hmm. and you have no love for food. Mm -hmm. So it, I would not concentrate. I would not do it. I knew it, and I would just waste their money. So have you given up on going to, to Edna Manley? You would still, still want, want to, to pursue? It, yes. I still want a certificate. You want to be certified? Yes. Okay, so okay, so that's outstanding, and yes. you're still pursuing that. Yes. I take it. So, in t <laughs> how old are you now? I'm Mass? 22. 22 now. You've garnered fans all over the world. Yes. How did that happen? Say you're Winford, and you have a, a workshop called Dazzle Them, and you see Rebel on Instagram, and you want to book her to teach your students. That's how it goes. So you're truly the hot girl right now, as it relates to dance or moves. Kind of ish. <laughs> yeah. so one of. You're one of the, yes. the frontline women in, yes. in that sphere, right? I do both. Doing both. So, so okay, so you, is that lucrative to, to be a dance teacher, teaching dance to foreigners? Yes, it is. I mean, you, have, you can earn from it, but you have to be smart. If you're not educated, you can lose big time and people will use you. Okay. That's the thing that some of these dancers do not understand. They see people teaching classes and they don't understand. Because I have met a lot of people that has came here and said, Rebel, I have $1,500 and I would want two hours with you. And I said, no, you can't tell me what you want to pay me. You ask me my price and we negotiate with these other dancers because they want the fast fame, they will see people flying to Europe, so they want that. They don't market themselves. So at the end of the day, they are water down dance hall, they are water down themselves, and the culture soon dead out, and we soon have nothing left. So you're, you're serious about taking charge and, and help to prevent that from yes, happening? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And to earn from it? Yes. All right, so you're aiming where with this? I want to go as big as it, as it gets, I, I don't want to stop. My dream was to always open one of 
the biggest dance studios in Jamaica. I want to help other dancers. I would want to help groom them into knowing what to do and the steps to take and how to make them a better dancer business-wise and dancing-wise. You sound like you're ready, 22-year-old um, dancing rebel. Yes. And you sound ready for this, not, not just um, in terms of your, your ability to dance, but you, I, well, I'm, I'm, I am impressed with the fact that you are looking be, behind yes. dance yeah. and seeing the business of dancing the and business. understanding the business of entertainment. Yes, sir. And you're very serious and focused. That is impressive. Thank you. I commend you. And I look forward to covering you. And we want you back here on our stage okay. to give more inspiration to young people in Jamaica. Yes. Girls and guys about their craft. So what we're going to do now is to clear the stage and give you to give us some of your moves to the break. Is that OK? Yes. That is okay. Smash. Gucci low fast with a tough top. Money no fi call thicker than a blood clot. Who ya know? Pa me belly with a touch back. When a bad sound clear, we say pull it up back. Everybody shout. Yeah 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 yeah. Push, load, rum, jump, buck a new girl. I suspect you like that video. For more, click and be on our stage always.